Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day in this video. I am going to be trying out the latest version of G Minor in Hive OS because apparently they have enabled memory temperatures on the GDDR6X memory graphics cards. So mainly, I'm going to show you guys my 3090s and 3080s and also 3070 Ti's as all of those GPUs have GDDR6X memory and I have all of those rigs on Hive OS and so I'm extremely, extremely excited to finally see my memory temperatures in Hive OS or in Linux essentially and there are a few of my graphics cards I have never seen the memory temperatures before. So let me talk about which rigs I got. It's my Asus Strix rig. Got a 3090 and a 3080, so I'll show you guys the mem temps on that. And then, yeah, I don't have any other GDDR6 memory on that rack. Then I was going to show my hanging rack, RebTech board, but I think my RebTech board died. So I'm going to figure that out in another video, but I do have two RTX 3080s, non-LHRs. Uh, these have GDDR6X memory, and so I know these ones for a fact are already thermal throttling so I do need to change the thermal pads on those two anyways the next couple rigs here are gonna be in my lovely octo miners and thank you to octo miner for sponsoring this video if you guys are looking to buy an octo miner at the end of this month March 30th to March 31st they're gonna be lowering the minimum order quantity to one so you can just order one octo miner x8 ultra plus or an octo miner x8 ultra and you guys can get one, right? You don't have to order five or 10 or what have you. So that's gonna open up at the end of this month. I will have more announcements as the time comes closer. Okay, anyways, I have an X8 Ultra Plus with eight 3080s. So we'll see what the mem temps are for this. I have a, another X8 Ultra here with 3070 Ti's, eight 3070 Ti's. And then I got a Octominer X12 Ultra with six RTX 3080s in this one, uh, non-LHRs, and then I have an RTX 3090 rig in this X12 Ultra. So I already have all of those rigs I just mentioned on G Miner in Hive OS. So let's go take a look at the mem temps now, and let's take a look at the first rig I got up here. So this is my RTX 3090 rig, and let me just give it a little refresh here. And okay, so. Here we go, it's in G minor. And just to verify with you guys, I'm in G minor version 2.88. Just started about nine minutes ago as of recording this video. And you can see we're getting about 121.4 mega hash on each of the RTX 3090s. These are all EVGA for the win three edition GPUs. So the mem temps does not show up in the web GUI yet. I'm sure that'll come soon as G minor has you know, they mentioned here display memory temps under Linux for NVIDIA GPUs. And so if that's going to happen with G minor, I'm sure T-Rex minor, NB minor will eventually come out with mem temps in their software as well. And then Hive OS will probably implement it in their web GUI. Taking a look at the G minor mining here, you guys can see, look at this. We can now see the mem temps right here, 60 degrees. 57 and then the mem temp is uh, 96, 92, 92, 90, 98, 94. Oh, that is good. So my 3090s are good. I don't need to uh, change the thermal pads on these RTX 3090s. I'm happy about that. You guys can let me know uh, what you think about that. There we go. Look at that. At 80% fan, I'm getting under the highest one is 98 degrees Celsius in terms of the memory temp. So that is okay, yeah, I'm not gonna thermal pad these. All right guys, let's go to the next rig. My six by RTX 3080 non-LHR and the X12 Ultra. And uh, these are all EVGA for the win threes. Uh, these are my hash rates I'm achieving on these GPUs. I do have some of them that are, you know, silicon lottery. I can't go any higher because then I'll get a, a GPU driver error. But the mem temps, we are getting 94, 92, 94, 92, 92, 92. Okay, so these 3080s, non-LHRs, EVGA for the Win 3s, do not need to have uh, the thermal pads replaced. These are good. Oh, I'm 
I'm so glad. I, I hate changing thermal pads. As you guys know, I've been doing it on a lot of GPUs recently. Okay, so that rig is good. Now let's go to the next one. We got another RTX 3080 non-LHRs. I got seven uh, Asus Tufts 3080s and I got one Zotac uh, 3080 Trinity, which I actually just changed the thermal pads on this just recently, but I have not changed it on the other uh, Asus Tufts, but I'm getting, you know, theoretically 100, almost 100 mega hash, uh, over 100 mega hash on most of the GPUs. Uh, but then again, I do have a silicon lottery issue with two of the Asus Tufts. So that's the numbers here. And then if we go to the G minor, we are getting, oh, that is not good. Okay, so the 3080 Tuft, the first one's 106 degrees Celsius. My Zotac is 92 which is great. So that's the one I just changed the thermal pads on. So that's all well and good. But the other 3080s are horrible. Over 100 degrees Celsius, 108 in the red, 110. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will definitely need to change the thermal pads on these Asus Tufts. That's, that is not good. But I'm surprised the one that says it's running at like 110 Celsius, that it is still mining. It is still mining and it's not like throttling. It's still getting 101 mega hash. Uh, let's see, that was the third GPU. Yeah, this one in here. Yeah, it's still getting 101. If I refresh this, yeah, 101 still, but at 110 degrees Celsius, obviously it's using a lot more power as this thing is probably getting pretty toasty. Ugh. I do not like seeing these temps. These mem temps are horrible. Okay. All right, so Ace is tough, not great. My Zotac is good, of course. All right, let's go to the next rig, guys. Now, my 3070 Ti's. These are all EVGA for the Win 3's, right? These have the GDDR6 Micron memory. And uh, I'm just, uh, these are my hash rates in G minor. These are my overclock settings. Anyways, let's go to G minor here and, okay. Yeah, generally they're all good. 92, 92, uh, except for these two. 102 and 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, 92, 86, oh that one's really cool. 92, 90. So overall, my EVGA for the win 3, 30, 70 Ti's I think are awesome in terms of the uh, mem temps. Maybe except for these two, but I'm not too worried. 100 and 102, yeah I mean that's, that's not good. I would like to have it below, you know, these numbers here, just like these other ones. But, uh, okay, so 3070 Ti rig. Uh, generally, it's fine. Now, my last rig here is my Strix rig. All 30 series cards. I did take out my 3070, in case some of you guys are wondering. I have a video coming up for that. So, my 3090, 3080 GDDR6X, right? And I'm getting 120 mega hash on that and 100 mega hash on the 3080 non-LHR. Those are my settings there. Now let's go to the G minor software and oh my god, the 3090 is at 108 degrees Celsius. 3080 non-LHR is at 108. Look at that, the, the GPU temp is 48, but the mem temp is 108. Oh my god, the Asus Strix cards are not, they, they do not have good memory pads. Oh, that is, that's not good. That's not good, my friends. Okay, so I'm gonna have to change, I'm probably gonna change the thermal pads on my Strix cards. That's, that's sad. I thought the Strix cards would have good thermal pads. 110 now on the Strix 3090. Oh, that is, that is not cool. I'm guessing because uh, I don't have my Strix rig in an Octominer. Uh, but that didn't really make sense. Uh, it doesn't matter anyway with the, my Asus Tough 3080s. You guys remember that. Those temperatures are bad. But my 3090 is here. It does have a wobbly fan. So that's probably why. And uh, I think there's a wobbly fan on this 3080 as well. But open air. And these do feel extremely hot. Yeah. Even though there's these fans going, you know, a little bit on the GPUs. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna have to repad those. Ugh. Guys, that's it for this video. I am glad now I can see the mem temps in Hive OS. I don't have to install Windows. And I have nothing against Windows, right? I got nothing against Windows miners, but now that it's easy for me to see the memory temps and see which GPUs I need to change the 
thermal pads on, it, it just makes things a lot easier. Oh, that's awesome. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and uh, let me know what your guys' results are with G Minor, uh, with your memory temps for the GDDR6X memory cards. And I'm sure Hive OS is going to come out with a, I guess, more of the versions like T Rex Minor and B Minor are eventually going to come out with memory temp readings in their software and hopefully Hive OS will have it in their web GUI as well uh, where you can see it uh, in the numbers with the overclocks and, and all that good stuff. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. Have a good one and peace out.